we've got two kinds of freshwater eels in New Zealand, short fins and long fins. And the long fins are in trouble, a lot of people believe so, and I found so through this investigation. One of the things I found so fascinating about these eels is their life cycle. Uh, they live uh, just about all their lives in fresh water, but when they're ready to breed, or spawn as we call it, um, with fish, they swim down the rivers and out to sea to start the big ocean journey. And as, as they do this, they, they undergo these astonishing changes to their bodies to enable them to cope in the sea environment, sort of this freshwater environment. And their eyes turn blue so they can see in the deep ocean, their heads become streamlined, their bellies turn silver and their backs turn black. And the reason for that is that um, when they twist and turn in the ocean, you get flashing patterns of silver and black, and it makes it very hard for predators to see them. And they're called silver eels at that point. So if you see a silver eel, it's ready to migrate, as we call it. So they go up to somewhere near Fiji, not eating the whole way, spawn, die, and then the eggs turn into larvae, which drift on the ocean currents all the way back to New Zealand, washing up right around the country and out to the Chathams. Uh, then the, they become uh, what are known as glass eels, little transparent eels, and start to swim up the rivers uh, and uh, make their way up and to find somewhere to live. And then they'll spend decades growing big enough and old enough to spawn again. This life cycle makes them particularly vulnerable. Uh, they, they need clean water to live in and, and that's uh, scarcer these days. Um, their journeys up and down rivers uh, uh, get blocked. For instance, the little elvers coming up the river to, to, to uh, find a place to live can't climb up hydro dams. The big ones coming down get chopped up by the turbines. And finally, there's uh, fishing which is going on, although this is a population in trouble. My recommendations are really focused on stopping commercial fishing. It's not that commercial fishing is the only cause of their decline but it's the only one we can do anything about in a timely fashion. And I would just say this is, this is economic as well as environmental. If you don't have the fish, you don't have the fishery. Now why does this matter? Well, they're the largest freshwater eels in the world. They're found nowhere else, nowhere else but in our country. Uh, they'd live to a great age. It'd be a tragedy if these extraordinary creatures became extinct, particularly to Māori, because they're very important in Māori tikanga. Uh, please feel free to read a copy of the report. You can go to our website to get one.